Just a quick video to show how to configure the Thrustmaster T80 PlayStation steering wheel for CoinOps X. First, let's change the T80 to gamepad mode. The light is not flashing, so it's in racing mode. Unplug the USB, hold down the PS button, and plug the USB back in. Now the light is flashing and we're in gamepad mode. And now we can adjust the sensitivity by clicking both paddle buttons and pressing the down arrow. Green is the most sensitive, which seems to work best for CoinOps X. We're testing this with an old firmware, but the newest also works. Toggle over to the controller settings. The first time you connect the controller, it will show up under additional devices. Select it, and now we can map the buttons. Since the A key is generally the accelerator, let's map that to the gas pedal by pressing the gas pedal. You will notice that we are using our pedal mount for these Thrustmaster pedals, and that suspends them in an inverted position, and the pedals will be opposite of normal. Since the B key is generally the brake, we'll map that by toggling down and pressing the brake pedal. Toggle down and continue to map the buttons. Here is our recommended configuration. Leave the bottom keys unmapped because you can use the control deck for those. Toggle down, hit save, and let's go find a game to try out. It is important to select the game you wish to play with the gas pedal and not the A key on the control deck. The same goes for the coin and start buttons. Use the wheel buttons for best success. One more thing to tweak. You'll notice the high and low gears are set to strange buttons. The X in the right paddle. We'd prefer to map low to the left paddle and high to the right paddle. In order to do that, we'll use built-in button mapping in CoinOps X. Hit the menu button and scroll down to button mapping. This screen always seems a little confusing, but it's really not that hard. Hit A to start the configuration and then hit the keys in the order that you want them to be. A is our gas pedal, B is our brake, right paddle you'll remember we want to switch to left paddle, and X we want to map to right paddle. Then hit Y, RB, and player 1 to copy the settings to player 2. That's it, now to test the controls in the game. When we hit right paddle, we will shift into high gear, and when we hit left paddle, we will shift back into low. In this version of OutRun, there's no high and low gear indicator, but as you can see, it does work properly. And that's it. Our T80 is completely configured for CoinOps X. Hopefully this quick tutorial will help you get it set up for yourself, but feel free to leave questions or comments below. Thanks for watching.